All right, what is up, fellow Geeks YouTube? This Mick here from the East Coast Geeks, and today I'm showing you a parts kit, really, um, for Kerbal Space Program. It is the Kerbal Orbiter, Kerbal Shuttle Orbiter System. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> basically, the Space Shuttle. Um, I haven't launched this version yet, so this will be kind of a surprise for both of us. Um, go ahead and show you the one thing I really love about this. Amazing cockpit inside. Um, both of them have really good ones. As you can see, a lot of these panels you can switch to uh, and do different things. Information, things such as that. But what we'll do, we'll quit the boring looking at the cockpit and stuff. We'll go ahead and launch, and you guys can take a look and see how she looks when she launches. Like I said, I haven't tried this rocket, this version of it. There's two versions. The other one looks more like the U.S. space shuttle we used. But it still is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and check out his part of the cockpit here. Oh, that's it's extremely neat here. There's a camera and everything. Go ahead and go back outside and let's look from his view. Amazing cockpit. It really is awesome. Um... But what I'll do is I'll let this go ahead and get into orbit, and then I'll show you what it's like once everything is uh, pulled away from the space shuttle. All right, now that we're over, over Kerbin, I want to show you a couple more really cool things about the shuttle itself. Uh, the RCS is built in, um, and it looks really amazing when you fire it here. Let me show. Looks a lot like the real space shuttle. Uh, we'll go ahead and open the cargo bay doors. Uh, and you can store like a satellite, things like that, in that. I'm just going to open up the docking port doors. And then you'll be able to actually <laughs> dock with other stations and things like that. Uh, the one thing I haven't tested with is the landing autopilot that is built into MechJab. I'm not sure if there's one built into the space shuttle or not. Uh, I'm going to mess with that real quick and try to see what works. We'll attempt to get our landing done using this for now and then once we get close we'll try space plane guidance here so let's pick ksc pad pick target land a target all right let's see if this works all right and now we're maneuvering to land or at least re-enter um so hopefully the, i'm not too high as i come in but we'll see here get high d orbit burn may have to do this manually, depending on what it is doing here. Yeah, Mac job doesn't let me do that. All right, my shuttle is coming in. I overshot the runway, so the Mac job landing didn't work with this. Um, but still, it's a cool mod. I'm going to have to try giving it a hand, or tr try to do a manual landing with it. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um... Yeah, I overshot by a good bit, and it does not appear to be wanting to turn around at all. Let's see if I give it some gas, it would do it. Eh, it still doesn't appear to want to turn around. But all in all, like I said, it's a really cool plug-in mod, parts pack for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I definitely recommend it. He said it comes with two different spacecraft. Uh, this is just one of the two. So definitely check it out, and I just wanted to let you guys know too, I'm going to try to do a tutorial on the mech job. I'm going to try starting on it tonight or tomorrow, um, so hopefully one of those two, but if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Um, I'll post a link to this part pack below, oh, just ran out of fuel, um, I'll post a link to the part pack below, and you guys can check this out if you so choose to, so... Hope you guys have a great night.